are here at SciTech Laboratory to do an experiment using a very interesting device called a gas discharge visualization device. Also has another name called the EPI, the electrophotonic emission device, imaging device. So we have it here and we're going to do an experiment where we're going to test uh, the effect of a certain bracelet on a subject. The machine, the gas discharge visualization system, is a device that comes from Russia and it's based on Killian photography. Uh, Killian photography comes from a long history. It started in the 1930s in Russia where this couple, their name was uh, Killians. Uh, they were playing with high voltage on plates and photographic plates and also with leaves. And so they were creating corona discharge of these leaves and they were photographing them on their photographic plates. It turns out that they, ha they had an idea of cutting a piece of the leaf and, that, um, and try again to see what the discharge looked like and to their amazement the discharge included the entire leaf. So we are here working with this experiment, ex, uh, system that has been developed over the years based on this concept by other scientists, um, especially Dr. Konstantin Karatkov. And uh, we ourselves are going to investigate also the phantom leaf effect on our own and try to replicate that. But apparently the Russians have gone ahead in this direction and have this device that uh, is pretty interesting that we're using in our investigations, has uh, thousands of publications in Russia, and so it's been validated in, by the Russian Ministry of Health, and um, so it's uh, worth investigating and that's what we're doing here. So we're going to do this experiment first. We're going to have uh, Mike here. I will explain what uh, you have to do. And it's very simple, so I entered your information. So what we're going to do is um, this device has a quartz plate, and underneath the quartz plate, there's a camera. This camera will capture the glow of your fingers because you're going to put your fingers one after the other on this photographic plate, starting with the right thumb. It might be best if you stand up for doing this because of the angle that the fingers do. So if you would give me your right hand and put it through here. So what I would like is for you to put your right thumb there. So I'm gonna just close this already. And we're gonna take pictures of the glow of your hand, uh, starting with the right thumb. So let me know when you feel you touch the, cl the glass and you have a good position. I think I do. Great. Yes, you do. It looks good here too. We okay. can see it. It's round and it's a very nice glow. So let's do the same with the index finger. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's good. The, me the middle finger. Okay. Yes, excellent. Then the ring finger. All right. And the pinky. Okay. Very good. And let's start with the left thumb. Okay. Index. Ready? We're going to take another round of the ten fingers. This time I'm going to put a plastic filter on top of the quartz plate. According to the Russians who developed this, and they have done much research in subtle energies. This plastic prevents some of the energies that come from out of your body to be registered by the equipment. Okay. Next. Ready? Next. And now we're gonna have the intervention. So I guess you're gonna wear a bracelet of Next choosing. Any suggestion on what we're expected to see maybe? Uh, now that you've seen what the machine does? Most of the observations with what to expect come in the consciousness field of 
you know, psychological influences like feeling more confident, feeling more calm. So you're relating more to the bio field, and that's not something that commonly comes up in feedback. Sometimes people notice an improvement in digestion and are less lethargic. But primarily, introspectively, people, the commonality of people's feedback is that they notice that their life becomes more interesting, they become more energized, that the nature of their interests change and become slightly more satwick or high-minded, I would say, would be the common feedback. What would you relate to that, Michael? Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, I feel like when I wear the bangle, um, I felt like I was more impacted by things, like normal everyday life became more meaningful, maybe like catching deeper meaning of things and also more mental clarity, I felt, and uh, it was sort of that realm of things I was experiencing. I think it, if it does measure it, that what Michael said about mental clarity, definitely there seems to be more mental stamina where a person has, who wears the bangle, often conveys that they have more mental energy. In other words, they don't get as tired doing, say, long car drives or working late into the evening or things like that. They tend to sleep less as well. So those would come closer to the bio side of perspective. Okay. So let's see if we can, um, shall we wait some moment or are we ready? I don't think so. I think it's fairly immediate. Okay. So let me just uh, take off the uh, filter here. And I think we can get, go ahead and uh, get started on the next measurement. Okay. Okay. So starting. Index. Middle. Ring. Okay, we're done. So we're going to compare both. So this was when he came in before wearing the bangle, and this is with wearing the bangle. Now it looks like the energy has decreased from 22,900 to 18,794. And the symmetry has decreased from 93 to 82%. So what I interpret this to be means that it definitely has impacted the field. OK? And uh, if you look at the physical body, we were at 25,005. And now at 23,951. The difference is very small. It's only about 1,000, which is uh, less than 10%. Uh, so this is pretty much the same energy physically and the symmetry was 93 and 93. So it hasn't impacted the physical body's energy, but it has impacted the, the psycho-emotional components of your energies. Now, it looks like this right now, but it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean um, positive or negative. It has, what it means, it has impacted your field. So this thing is doing something. What I'm seeing most of the time when there's an energy uh, treatment like this is that the energy field is impacted and then the, the energy field start to recover and to become even better than it was before. So we would have to follow you for a day or two to see what would happen to the field. But the, the important news here is that there's the field this bangle seems to have uh, definitely an effect on your energy field, especially on the emotional, psycho-spiritual part of the field. And so that's what we can tell at the moment when we see this. Um, we go a little deeper into the diagram. So let's show the without filter. See the with filter. They are very similar. The width filter is the ones 
with uh, only the physical body component. So if you look at them, even, you know, the rectum was a little high and they're very similar. See, so slightly high energy in the right kidney. Very, very similar. So hasn't inf uh, impacted your physical body's energy. But we can see a big difference in it. Uh, now we can tell which areas of the energy field, the psycho-spiritual part of the energy field has been influenced. It's mainly on the left side, the spleen, and on the right side, the spleen, the mammary glands especially have been impacted. So some, something related to uh, the processing of thoughts. In Chinese medicine, the spleen, stomach spleen, is not only related to digestion of food, but also to processing um, ideas. Um, it's like they're saying in Chinese medicine, you know, too much worry will wear out the energy of the spleen. What I found doing research is this is not only worry students, for example, who have lots of exams and use their mind a lot will wear, wear this energy. So in your case, the synergy was, is good. But we can see from the power of that bangle that it's affecting this area. And if the bangle does a good job, what it will do, it will strengthen this area. And it will be even more strength, powerful than it was before. But it's definitely impacting the psycho-spiritual, emotional psycho-spiritual part of your energy field. Very powerfully, I would say. Okay? So the heart chakra is, uh, is related to basically empathy, you know, the, the connection with others and also love for um, self and others. And this has been impacted, so there's something about this area that is being worked on, basically. And the second chakra, which relates to the Swadhisthana, which is about um, creativity and the, the, the uh, pro processing is related to the uh, elimination and uh, reproductive organs, but it's also about base security. So these are um, being impacted and worked on at the moment. But it, it, it is certainly certain that it did impact your energy field, and just like Nick was saying, it's impacted not so much the physical, but it impact, impacted the psycho-spiritual, emotional part of your energy field. One of the commonalities that we observe, not with every client, but maybe one in five clients, is that when they put on the bangle initially, there's what I call the integration process. And, and it, I often say this, it's like a you know, mantra, I say to the individual, well, your name's John, and you know what John thinks, you know what John likes, what he does, how he, what he, how he processes the day, and you're so used to that after so many decades that you're set in this bandwidth or pattern that has a certain vibration. And when you introduce something like an instrument onto, into your biofield that's trying to change that rate of vibration, your thoughts get slightly disorientated, and your mental makeup that's slightly uh, challenged for a, a temporary period of time because you're going through an integration. And when you finally integrate, you get more comfortable with this different rate of vibration, then you normalize and go into a new form of homeostasis. And that's when you really enjoy wearing the bangle. But sometimes at the beginning, I even had one lady say to me that she went into a restaurant and she just couldn't read the menu. She was just too, too disoriented. She was a very extreme case. She suffered from severe depression. And you know, Bangle had a lot of impact on her, but she had a, a much wider gulf to travel to get to the integration process. So I'm just wondering, I, I don't know how to interpret what you're looking at clearly, but I'm just wondering if some of that anomaly is going on. That's basically, in other words, what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. That it, well, I'm, what I'm seeing is big impact on the psycho-spiritual body. Not so much on the physical energy, but on the psycho-spiritual part of the energy field. And we can tell which one are impacted, yeah. and that there could there could be you know readjustment to a higher level of functioning after that. It's actually powerful already. Huh? It's actually just this one is already powerful right, sure. to affect this energy field like that. 
I hope you get uh, you found that we done today interesting, and uh, maybe we'll do some more in the future. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's very much a, a new set of languages. Yes. That, um, go outside the conventional way of thinking and the conventional experience of modern medicine. Yes. To a great degree. So we, even though you've introduced this to me before, Gaetan, it's still quite a transition in my understanding trying to relate to what you're seeing and um, what I'm trying to understand. So thank you very much. Really thank you. It. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for being a subject. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. We just got back from our visit to SciTech, which was very interesting. I made this bangle and uh, wore it during the experiment at SciTech. Uh, this one I just put on um, for the experiment and I wore it for a few minutes today as I was sizing it. Otherwise, I've been wearing a bangle continuously for um, about the last six months and I felt the first time I wore a bangle, very similar to this one actually, I felt like um, a very strong impact where I felt full of energy. I felt like um, I could just stay up all night. You know, I didn't need to sleep and I just felt exhilarated. It was a wonderful, wonderful feeling. And um, I felt like that was the integration process for me. It, it took some time to kind of come down off that cloud and then things felt normal again. But the interesting thing was when I took the bangle off, then I sort of lost some of those benefits such as um, the, I felt like I had more mental clarity and I felt like I um, had more uh, continuous energy and I noticed when I took the bangle off that those effects went away so that's how I knew that the bangle was helping me to feel those things and um, so uh, yeah I feel like Today's visit at SciTech was really interesting for me because I, it proved to me that the bangle does have an impact uh, to see that his devices could record that. It is extremely comfortable. It feels like another layer of skin. It really does help to ground me. It keeps me focused, grounded, and in my body.